All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Canvas Conversations. Joining me again on the show is the Moroccan devil, Yusuf Zalil. What's going on, Yusuf? How you doing, brother? Pretty good, brother. How about you? Not too bad, man. So uh, coming off the big win at uh, LFA 39, tell me about it. How did it feel? What did you think about your performance? I felt, I felt amazing. I, I get better every 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 fight, and I, I go out there and do what I say. And then it's... That's the beauty of it, you know, how work pays off in the end. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a good night for you guys overall, huh? Yeah, we had uh, four guys fighting four finishes that night, so. And, and uh, newly crowned champ, right? Yeah. Well, it's an interim, so hopefully he'll fight for that belt soon. Or maybe UFC call. We'll see. Yeah, right. So what does that mean for you guys to go in there and kind of just clean house like that? Is that a, a, a big team thing for you guys, or how do you feel about that personally? Oh yeah, it's 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 always an uh, amazing feeling when uh, when you fight your teammate. We feed off each other's energy, you know. You come back, you win. You're like you get you get the other guy all excited, ready to go. It's like okay, my teammate won. I have to do probably better or same or whatever it is, you know. And then you just feed out each other's energy. So it's an awesome experience to see. Absolutely. So, what did you think about uh, the arm with uh, Brandon's fight? Was oh. that nasty or what? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Well, it's it was a uh, it was a terrible thing to see. I was right next to it too. It was oh, oh. Uh, you look yeah, awful, man. Like Gumby, yeah. like a Gumby yeah. arm. Yeah, that's probably that, the nasty, nastiest thing I've seen. Does that kind of stuff gross you out as a fighter, or are you, what do you think about that type of stuff? Blood grosses me out, and imagine what a broken arm would do. <laughs> so blood grosses you out. What do you think about whenever you're fighting somebody and and you yeah. get them all bloody? Does it bother uh, you? Not, not in the fight, but after, ugh, I keep <laughs> thinking about it. My opponent was all sticky and warm, and I was like, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, uh. Well, if you keep yeah. getting those uh, those early finishes, man, you don't have to worry about it, right? True, true. That is true. That's very true. So is that something you've been thinking about going into these fights? Is, man, I want to get another finish? Or how how does this just keep happening for you? It's just happening, or...? I just go deep. I just go out there and do me. To be honest, I don't. I don't focus on finishes. I know finishes will come. You just have to execute the the game plan perfect and all this. Everything will comes to you. You don't have to chase nothing. All these guys chase knockouts, this and that, this and that. You might get them. Who said you can't? But how? It's pretty rare. You know, it's not every time. You know, it just slows you down, gases out, and all that stuff. And that's what I kind of been working on the past five fights in my pro career. So. So I saw after the fight you started doing this. <laughs> what? What? It, tell me about that. Is are you look, angling already for a title shot with LFA? Is, is that what you want to sign a contract with them and uh, get into that title I mean, talk? I mean, we're, they were already, they were already talking to me about a title shot without even me doing it. So it's kind of, I knew what I was gonna go out there. I knew what I was gonna do, and I know what I was gonna do in that 45 division if the UFC don't don't pick up. I I know I was coming for that belt. Actually, they have two two guys fighting for the bill this weekend, I think, or something like or next weekend, I think. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. The interim and then the champion. I was like, mm-hmm. I watched these guys. I was like, I can beat these guys. So that's why I was just like, give me that bell. You know, who cares? So is that? Would you rather the path be through LFA, or are you entertaining the idea of maybe getting on the contender series or something like that? I just let my manager do his thing, you know. That's uh, I, Jim Walter. He's uh, he's an amazing guy, man. He's uh, he's doing a lot of good things for me. So I just let him do his thing. I'm ready for whoever. I told him just give me a date and a name, and I'll be there. So I don't care who who they put in front of me, and uh, I will finish those guys. How did you get set up with Jim? Uh, actually, my uh, my coach uh, Mark Montoya is uh, is like close friends with him. So and then I knew knew him from Brian Rogers. He's training with us too but that's where I kind of got in introduced to him first okay so it doesn't matter to you you don't mind if it's LFA whatever you're just ready to fight you're just ready to go I'll fight for about next week I don't care or this week it doesn't matter to me I took a two-hour notice fight with them so it does, for you there's no thought process just going through the motions prepare again and deliver yeah, the same I don't performance know. I don't. I really don't think about oh when I'm gonna fight this now. I mean, I had five fights in nine months. That's mm-hmm. you don't see that a lot. I tell you that you don't, especially five finishes. I don't. I don't think these guys know 
Yeah. They're too terrified. They're too scared to go out there and go out there. I I've turned my ass off. This last thing I'm I'm worried about. Oh, I can't fight this guy. I can't fight this guy. No, let's go out there and do me. LFA actually took the five guys, and then the five, uh, the fifth guy, the that's the guy who said yeah. So I love it. So, do you want a break, man? Are you are you tired, or you do you enjoy this climb right now? I'm 21. I'm never tired. I'm enjoying the climb, and we'll see what comes ahead. You know, when it's time, to slow down and slow down. But it's not you. You stay, you stay rising. So, do you think you'll stay at 45, or I know you've you know, you've entertained 55 before? So <laughs> no. You... no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not fighting 55. That's not happening. No, no, no <laughs> you don't no, think no. you'll ever get bigger or anything like that? I don't down know. The maybe road, down the future. probably, probably. And I mean, if there's like short notice, blah blah, blah I'll probably You're jump in. It. But but 45, it's it's been amazing to me. I'll stay at 45. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Speaking of the weight stuff and weight battles, what do you think about Mackenzie Dern missing weight by seven pounds uh, in the strawweight matchup with Amanda Cooper? I don't know, man. Uh, people, you chose this sport, so be professional, you know. We get paid and all this and that. It's not like, oh, you just fight in the street. You're not. You're fighting for big promotion, blah, blah. It's it's kind of disrespectful to the opponent, which is Amanda, and then to to the whole MMA world, kind of. Like, every, all, most girls have their eyes on Dern, you know. Mm -hmm. She's an, up, like, next round of Rousey, blah, blah. But you miss, you miss weight by 7.4 pounds. He didn't even try, to be honest. Yeah. I was like, so that's that's a really un unprofessional of her, but what can you do, you know? Mm. So who do you think wins that fight tonight? I don't know, man. I, I, I got some faith in Amanda. I'm probably, I'm probably sure she did. I think she can win it. She can get it done. Yeah, I think she's uh, that that missing, the Mackenzie missing weight kind of lit a fire under Amanda a little bit. So I think she might come in to, come out there with oh, yeah. a little bit of fire. Especially you know? the, the interview she had in Fox. Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> Did you see the look in her eyes, man? I know. She's like, <laughs> she's ready to go. She wasn't messing around. She was not messing around. So who do you got in the main event? Amanda or Raquel? I don't know, man. I'm going with Amanda. Yeah. I, I feel like that power is I mean, hard she's, to deal I, with. I don't know. Raquel is like number seven, isn't she? Something like that? I think four or five, yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Raquel's she, tough. She's real tough. Oh, though, she so. she has like that Mexican yeah yeah boxing she, mentality. Her exactly. her boxing coach is I think is Mexican. So yeah, you, you assume what's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna be a brawl. I feel like a, a five rounder. I think. Yeah. You gotta, uh, go ahead. I might see a finish. I don't know. You uh, for sure maybe with like like I said with uh, Amanda's power it might be too much. True. And her, yeah, she has she has a lot of power in that division. She's big for that division too. So, what do you think? Do you have a do you have a pick for that fight? Are you taking Amanda? Yeah, I'm taking Amanda. I'll pick Amanda. Okay, got you, got you. Uh, what are your thoughts on the fight of the night? You think anybody's gonna go out there and steal a fight of the night, or do you think it's gonna be the main event? I don't know. Maybe John Lineker and the other guy might steal the uh, the, the whole car. Boom, Brian Kelleher. Uh, yeah, so that, that'll be a, that'll be an interesting fight. What do you think about Brian Kelleher? Do you like him? Do you do you pay attention to the guys at your weight class or around your weight class in the UFC? Forty five, yeah, I do. John not Lineker, so much thirty five, like, yeah. Like, nah, nah, not so much. I mean, I, I, I still look at it though. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so like, thirty five, but I'm not thinking about it. You know, it's not. It's it's, it's, it's the last idea in my list. That's to go to thirty five, but I mean. Definitely, I look up to see all these guys at 45 division. It's like, oh, you know, all these guys fighting. And, you know, I can beat him, blah, blah. You know, all this back and forth talk with yourself. So it's, uh, Right. Well, so what do you think, if, if you're paying attention to the 45, what did you think about Yair getting uh, cut from the roster? I don't know, man. He hasn't he hasn't picked uh, that fight that offered him. They, they didn't take, uh, what's his name? Lamas, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ricardo. You're in this business to take fight, not say no. He needs the use of Zalil attitude, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know it. <laughs> oh, man, so what have you been getting into uh, after the fight? What have you been doing to uh, buy your time? Not pretty much nothing. Just play video games and train. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What video games That's are you playing? Call of Duty, World War Two. Okay, I haven't I haven't played that. I'm not. I don't have a lot of time for video games, man. But if I can, I try and get on the Call of Duty. I like yeah. zombies, though. I like the zombie game. 
Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It gets interesting, especially with uh, with your friends. So oh, that yeah, was just yeah. exciting. I mean, especially with like like Puff G and stuff like that. They they get it gets crazy intense when you have your friends and all this playing with you. So any of the Factory X guys play with you? Yeah, we got some Factory X guys play with me. Uh, the uh, I have two amateurs, and then uh, Chris Gutierrez is uh, I think he's eleven and one, eleven and something. I, don't, I can't remember. He's a 35, so it's we always have fun in there. So in the game, you got you guys are playing. Are you guys playing Fortnite at all, or only Call of Duty? I never. I played Fortnite once, but I still I haven't, haven't played, played it yet. Once. Yeah, I haven't played. It's it told me it's yet. good, but I haven't played it yet. There's a craze going on, so I had to ask if you were one of them. No, I'm, I'm not that one. <laughs> got you. Well, man, before I let you go, I know uh, sponsors are always a big part of what you do, brother. So if you want to shout anybody out or thank anybody, man, the floor is yours, brother. Well, yeah, thank you for having me in, uh, in, your, uh, in your show. Uh, I'll thank uh, Factory X, Land Out Performance, Receptor Natural, Locked In, Denver Chiropractor, and then Jim Walter. So There you go, man. That's all the guys that know. I love it, brother. So what are you... I see you got your headphones in. I feel like you are got to be jamming this stuff on the way to practice or while you're getting your runs in. I saw uh, my buddy from, I forget his name off the top of my head right now. He runs the podcast for the Peanut Gallery or comments oh, from yeah. the Peanut Gallery. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Kurtz. Yeah, that's his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, Jordan. Uh, I see you got him oh, on a yeah, that's running him regiment. Too. That's that's my uh, that's sponsor one of your too. sponsors too. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Peanut I saw his logo on your shorts at the fights too. That was cool. Yeah. He's, well, he, he seems asked, like a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he came in. We had an interview. Kind of, kind of have the same similar thing. His his uh, brother just passed away, so he's kind of he was in uh, he was in that moment, kind of where I was at a long time ago. So kind of you know just help him out a little bit. And then, I mean, he, yeah, I and mean, he he helped me out for my fight. Kind of you know you know how sponsorships are. You know it's it's pain in the ass. All you want to focus on is fighting, but you know. But that's why I'm blessed to have uh, Jim Walter. I just, I just hand him everything, and he hands all that. I don't know. I, don't know. I just get paid. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Show up. Get the finish. Get paid. Get out of here. Hey. Go back to playing some video games and training. Hey, finishes will get you closer, you know, yeah, and quicker, I should say. Uh, I mean, nobody... I feel... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was go just going to say, like, all the finishes, only finishes. I feel like, I mean, everybody already kind of knows who you are, figuring out who you are, but I mean... It's got to look good. I agree, man. That's what they all say, you know. They, they f- figure me out, you know. That's, uh, I'm, I'm a different guy. I mean, I have a lot of four submissions my, my last three fights and the first fight, but they haven't seen the the complete uh, package, I should say, yet. they only seen my ground game. I'm getting better at my, my, my ground game, so I just stayed in my ground game. These guys think I'm going to strike with them. I'm going to have this and that. I'll do whatever I want in that cage. And I, I control... It control where, where where everything goes so that's where i'm kind of where i'm at i love it brother i love it man yusuf i i can't wait to see the next fight or hear the next fight news man we're all in pins and needles ready to watch you again man thank you appreciate it man